Hey, welcome back to the Your Financial EKG YouTube page. My name is Drew Blackston. I'm a certified retirement counselor, investment advisor representative, and I am your virtual financial advisor helping you get to retirement, helping you get through retirement, and protecting your ability to stay in retirement. And in this week's can I retire video we're gonna look at can I retire in California with 3.1 million dollars let me say that again can I retire in California with 3.1 million dollars now listen if this is your first time coming to the your financial EKG YouTube page make sure you hit the subscribe button below smash the like button if you enjoy this content or you find it informational or useful in your retirement planning and make sure you leave your questions your comments and your sarcastic gnarly remarks below all right Let's go through this. Can I retire in California with $3.1 million? Now, I want to start here. We have a male age 60 and we have a female age 55. Now, this couple has gone through my full financial planning service. Okay, so they found me through YouTube, went on my website, yourfinancialekg.com, and we've gone through a full Your Financial EKG to identify if they can retire. Their main concerns, inflation, obviously, taxes, and if somebody were to pass away, a spouse, if we have an income loss because of a spouse, okay? So we have male age 60, female age 55. They have three children, some of which are in college, one of which is at home. In retirement, their income want is $125,000. Now, I get comments every now and then, oh, who would need $125,000 in retirement? Who would need $200,000 in retirement? Well. Again, it depends on the state and your cost of living. This gentleman's in LA, so their cost of living is much higher than many cost of livings elsewhere. So they want $125,000 in retirement. Social Security for him at 67 is going to be $36,000. Social Security for her at 67 is going to be $19,000. They don't have any debt and they have a home that's worth $600,000. So that's equity. It's not liquid equity, but it is equity. Okay. Now in assets, I did mention that we've got $3.1 million in assets. And here's how this is broken up in their retirement investments. They have cash or retirement savings of $250,000. They have retirement investments in their 401k of $2.1 million. They have Roth retirement investments of $185,000. They have a health savings account of $20,000. And they have a brokerage account, which they're used just for retirement planning or retirement income of $546,000. So all together, it's right around $3.1 million. Now, the big thing we have to look at, especially in planning for this and planning for someone in California, inflation, what's this going to what's this number going to do over the next 10, 20, 30 years, and what are taxes going to be like? Cuz California is one of the highest tax states in the nation. So, let's go through this. Can I retire in California with $3.1 million? Let's go. So let's look at this scenario. Can I retire in California with $3.1 million in retirement investments? Now we've got $3.1 million in retirement investments. Remember, our couple is 60 and 55 years old. They want $125,000 in retirement income. So they want to see how long their retirement savings are going to last. Are they going to have enough retirement income to last throughout their retirement? Remember, my goal here at Your Financial EKG is to get you to retirement, through retirement, and protect your ability to stay in retirement. So for the next seven years, we're going to take retirement income out of our retirement investments. All right. So $125,000 is the income need. $40,625 is our taxes. Now this includes state 
and federal. It doesn't include any local taxes or property taxes, just federal and state. Remember, this couple lives in Orange County in LA. So the total that we need is $165,625. So you have to include taxes on top of your income need because if we take it off of here, they're going to be less than $100,000, which is not our income goal. So for seven years, we're going to take this out of their retirement accounts because we're trying to get him to full retirement to take his Social Security at full retirement age. So if we earn 6% for seven years, starting at $3.1 million, at the end of seven years, this couple will have $3.2 million. So $3,276,708. And that's paying, over seven years, $40,625 in taxes per year. Now, I love California. I've got family in San Diego. Man. Maybe you should think about moving to Texas or Florida, but that's okay. We're, we're a little crazy down here in Florida. So if you come here, you got you to gotta fly with the birds, right? So we're at $3,276,000 at 67 and 62. So let's go over here, 67 and 62. Now our income need has gone to 153,000 because of inflation. Our taxes have gone up because we have to take more out because of inflation. Remember, as inflation goes up, your taxes are going to go up as well, right? Because if you're taking $1,000 out of your account a month and you're paying, let's say, $200 in taxes on that money, that's 20%, and your income need goes to $2,000 because of inflation, now your taxes go from $200 to $400. Okay, now that's a big jump and that's probably not exactly what, you, what you're what you at, but I just want to show you that as an example. So income went from 125 to 153, so our taxes have gone up. So now we've got to pay 48,000, almost $49,000 in federal and state taxes. Did I mention Florida didn't have a state income tax? So that's total $201,000 that need to come out of our investments. Now, here's the kicker. We've got Social Security because we made it to 67. So our Social Security is 36,000 and we have a pension that we get of 8,400 a year. So you, mark, you subtract those two figures out of the $201,000 that we need and that's 157,560. It lessens the blow a little bit. Now keep in mind Social Security in this case 85% of his Social Security is taxable in this scenario because his income level, is his provisional income is above the 85% threshold for taxable Social Security. His pension is taxed at 100%, ordinary income, right? Just as if he was working. So you have to look at, the, you got to remember there's taxes on everything, right? The only thing that's tax free is a Roth IRA. That is the only thing. A Roth IRA, a Roth 401k. But people go, no, 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 Drew. Municipal bonds are tax-free. I own municipal bonds. Those are tax-free. Like, well, yeah, they're, they're tax-free income. But if you're on Social Security, the interest that you get from a municipal bond, that interest is still calculated in your Social Security tax. It's still calculated in your provisional income to see if your Social Security what level it's taxed at. It's used in the computation of your Social Security tax. So it's tax-free in one sense, but it's not tax-free in the other sense, right? He giveth and he taketh away. The tax man, that is. So we're at 157560 If we do this for five years, earning 6%, because we're now we're trying to get the wife to full retirement age, we're going to have $3.5 million when he's 72 and she's 67. Now here's where I'm going to stop because they're going to have plenty of money. I do another scenario 10 years from now, inflating that with the taxes, they're somewhere around four and a half million dollars. There's, there's not going to be an issue for these people retiring in California, but you have to think about taxes when you go to do your retirement planning. And that's why in the comments below, there's a free retirement download called the Roadmap to Retirement. We talk about retirement income. We talk about taxes in there. It's free. Just click on the link. You can download it. If you want to meet with me and go through a free retirement income plan, fill out your information, click yes, I want to do that. If not, just take the download and read it. I want you to have it. But you have to remember your social security, once you're taking social security, whether you're 62, 67, 70, it's going to be you, it's going to be taxed either at 85% or 50% if you have a large enough income. Your 401k and your IRA, money that you're taking out of your 401k and IRA to live on, your retirement income, or your required minimum distributions that the government makes you take once you're over the age of 72, those are taxed at ordinary income. So whatever your ordinary level is, that's what they're taxed at. 
pensions are taxed just like 401ks and IRAs, ordinary income, brokerage accounts, interest, capital gains, dividends, those are taxable. So everything that you do when it comes to your retirement income is taxable. So you want to make sure that not only do you have a plan, can I retire? Yes, I can retire. But can I retire and do it tax efficiently? Can I retire and not send the bulk of my money to the IRS over the bulk of my retirement? And that's where we come in. Because anyone can give you a financial plan, but you can only get a tax efficient Your Financial EKG right here. And if you want that, go to my website, yourfinancialekg.com, Fill out the information, click the box that yes, you want to meet with a retirement advisor, and we will put together a tax efficient retirement income plan for you. All right? So I hope this has helped. I hope this has been useful. Can I retire in California with $3.1 million? If you like this, smash the like button, leave your comments below. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me that you do. Have a great day. God bless. Bye bye.